Richard Stein. And we are all part of the Lost Generation. The Lost Generation is a group that rebelled against America in the 1900s. Many Americans of the time were a part of one race and one culture and religion. However, the Lost Generation writers did not like this because they felt that America was not a success story and they wanted to be able to experience other cultures. This led them to leaving America and traveling to Europe, Paris, and Pacific. Here they were able to write what they wanted instead of being conformed to only writing in the rigid Victorian style. We will begin by talking about the person who created the Lost Generation, Gertrude Stein. This is a poem she wrote in 1914. A frightful release. A bag which was left and not only taken, but turned away was not found. The place was shown to be very like the last time. A piece was not exchanged, not a bit of it. A piece was left over. The rest was mismanaged. America is my country, but Paris is my hometown. The Lost Generation term was created by Gertrude Stein, and she used it to describe the people of the 1920s who rejected American post-World War I values. I was born into an affluent family, which enabled me to spend a considerable amount of time in Europe. Having such a diverse background, I did not know the conventional life that many Americans lived. My areas of study include Radcliffe College, where I studied with the philosopher William James. To further my education, I attended Johns Hopkins Medical School, but did not have the drive to finish my degree. I used my knowledge of medicine and philosophy particularly what I learned from James about stream of consciousness, and incorporated them into my writings. I then went off to Europe, and with my brother Leo, set up a salon which was visited by such figures as Picasso, Henry Matisse, Sherwood Anderson, and my friend Ernest Hemingway. With influences such as Picasso, I explored Cubism, with concentration on the illumination of the present moment. A good example of this was the work Tender Button. Ernest Hemingway was one of the most famous of the Lost Generation writers. Here is a quote from his book, The Sun Also Rises, written in 1926. You are an expatriate. You've lost touch with the soil. You get precious. Fake European standards have ruined you. You drink yourself to death. You become obsessed by sex. You spend all your time talking, not working. You are an expatriate, see? You hang around cafes. This quote shows how modern his writing was and why he did not like the conformity of writing that was going on in America. I am probably one of the most celebrated authors of my time. I am well no known for my fiction. My take on fiction is something invented or imagined. Main topics were centralized around my love of embellishment of the facts. I did not have the education as many other writers of my time. Rebelling against my parents' attempts to send me to colleges. My idea of education did not consist of lectures and research papers, but of life experiences and my love of reading. My reading centered around Russian writers such as T Tolstoy and Turgenev. Tolstoy was a primary influence in my writing. World War I also had a profound impact on me as well, as I was, as I was an ambulance driver during the war. I hated the abstract, especially abstract words such as honor, glory, and courage. I held strong to old beliefs and symbolism, and I used symbolism to depict the Protestant religion I could not accept. I used observation and description in my works rather than rhetoric views. The concept of war fascinated me, as well as the experiences one could endure in a lifetime. One of the most famous works, Farewell to Arms, depicted the use, uselessness for words such as honor and glory, because they were not the first things in a soldier's mind as he walked onto the battlefield. My works were raw and dealt with the notion that one could be inside the character's mind, the concrete and not around in the abstract view of my work. F. Scott Fitzgerald coined the term the Jazz Age, which describes the 20s. Here is a quote from his book, The Great Gatsby. He knew that when he kissed this girl and forever wed his unutterable visions to her perishable breath, his mind would never romp again like the mind of God. So he waited listening for a moment longer to the tuning fork that had been struck upon a star. Then he kissed her. At his lips' touch, she blossomed from him like a flower, and the incarnation was complete. The term Lost Generation is expressed through the characters of Jay Gatsby and Daisy Buchanan. The term refers to the loss of innocence of the society, in the society after World War I. The Great War changed everyone's perception of life. 
Life was dominated by a pursuit of material wealth and social position, with a great abandon of mor morality. James Gatz, from a poor family in the Midwest, transforms himself into a millionaire through questionable means, bootlegging, and other illegal activities to create a new life. Jay Gatsby's life is a great illusion, empty of true substance, dominated by lavish parties and his tire tireless pursuit of Daisy. Although Gatsby has transformed his humble early life into that of a dazzling millionaire, he remains unfulfilled and miserable. Daisy Buchanan, a debutante who marries Tom because he is rich, eventually becomes Gatsby's lover. However, she is cold and indifferent to him. She cares for nothing. Daisy's voice is a voice of money. Her whole careless world revolves around this illusion, that money makes everything beautiful even if it is not. Daisy flights with Gatsby, enjoying his obsessive interest until she commits murder and he takes the rap. Then she hides behind the protection of her husband, a cruel brute, who uses and abuses people. The lack of a moral center in any of the characters in this book, except for Nick Haraway, depicts the nature of the society in the period dubbed the Jazz Age.